Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to make oil paint using your own glass muller and slab. A muller and a slab are traditionally what's used to make your own paints up and they consist of just a sheet of thick glass that's been sandblasted so it has a bit of tooth and likewise the muller which is like this sort of doorknob shaped object has also been sandblasted on the base so that when you're grinding paint like this you're getting into really fine little particles and crushing them really nicely so that they blend with the medium. You need to start with some pigment and today I'm using a Sennelier product. They make really beautiful pigments. This one's a really good one for flesh tone. But you can buy pigments in lots of different brands like Langridge. This is wonderful because it's a fluorescent pigment and it's quite hard to buy oil paint in a fluorescent colour. So sometimes it gives you more options if you make your own. It's also cheaper. So I'm going to start with my Sennelia flesh tone here. You start by putting a little bit onto the slab. That's about a teaspoon there. And then I like to make kind of chopped consistency. Get those big chunks out. And then make sort of a, a cross shape like that. Then I'm going to add just a little bit of linseed oil at a time. So that's going to be our medium that binds the paint together. And they're the only two ingredients. Okay, so let's see how that goes. I'm going to fold it in like we're making scones. And sometimes I discover that I've put too much pigment or too much linseed oil in, but you can always correct the consistency as you go. So you can see it's kind of a crusty kind of a consistency. We're going to just get that as well mixed together first and then we'll get the glass muller involved. It's good to have a couple of palette knives because you always need to do a bit of extra scraping. And here comes the muller. You grab it like this, put it in the centre of the mixture and start to do figure eights. And you can feel it, you can hear the little crunchy bits of pigment that haven't been dissolved or mixed into the medium. And you can continue to do that until it's really smooth. It's a very satisfying process and it's much more affordable. That tub of beautiful Sennelia pigment was $35 and it's equivalent to about four tubes of paint. You'll find that the muller kind of sticks to the slab. You can see the paint there is starting to become quite a lovely consistency. When you're happy with the consistency, you can use the palette knife for a bit of leverage to get it off the slab. Take the paint off the bottom of the muller. And then start to scrape it up. A teaspoon of pigment has made around about a teaspoon of paint as well. It's quite a lovely consistency. Now for, to preserve it, you could either use a small jar like this one. You can buy them from art supply stores. But I prefer to visit a good art store like St Luke's and buy an empty tube these are specifically designed for paint making. So 
they are open at the bottom instead of the top. And you simply put your paint in. Now I've got quite a small molar and slab. You can buy much larger ones and make much bigger quantities in one go. But I can keep continuing now and adding to this batch. And when I'm done, I simply crimp the end of the tube together and fold it over. And then you can use it like a normal paint tube. But I'm going to make a little bit more. Thanks for watching.